Okay, we have some d's and some n's here. So we have d minus 3n over 7n minus d, that's equal to 1. Whenever we have something, in this case up here in the numerator, divided by something else in the denominator, and it's equal to 1, we can simply set these two equal to each other. Or think of it this way, 7n minus d times 1, cross multiplying, is simply going to be 7n minus d. So writing this out, next step, we have 7n minus d, and we'll bring this over here, d minus 3n. So now I just want to balance this out and see, again, what is d in terms of n. So I want to get all d on one side and all the n on the other side. So we're going to add d here, both sides. That gets me plus d over here, which is 2d. Then I'm going to add 3n to this side, to both sides. And oops, there's our 3n. That gives us a total of 10n. Therefore, dividing both sides by 2, end up getting d is equal to 5 times n, which is answer choice e.